subscribe right now. All right. All right. So guess what? Amona Scott was on Wendy Williams' show. And people are saying they had some words. They definitely had some differences on what they thought Black ex Excellent was. I mean, but they both is a mess, right? So uh, let's see what they got to say, what everybody is talking about. DJ, stop the beat. All right, go on here, Mona. Uh, okay, hold on. Go on here. Go on now. It was designed to be an opportunity for these guys. Do they go off the rails occasionally? But that's all in the past. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, with Chrissy, it's all about moving forward. It's a new year. We're just celebrating royalty, our black excellence, and I want everyone to excellence. have... Excellence. Well, black excellence, absolutely. Uh -huh. Every step of the way. Yes, yeah. we, we tune into the Mona Scott shows for black excellence. <laughs> oh, gosh. These ladies excellence are, at these its best. These ladies are amazing with the things that they're doing. You know Rashida's got businesses. I and know. You cannot front on any of that stuff. Absolutely. You've got to give them props for everything these ladies have been able to accomplish. Living very difficult lives that half of us, because I say it all the time, I can't deal with half of the stuff that they deal with was designed to... uh, Jim Jones makes it no secret mm. on TV yes. that he has a problem with you. Uh, okay. And <laughs> and so but Jim and Chrissy are back in They the are home. back. How did you make that happen? I think you know what it's so hard doing these shows. I bought you a gift, don't you open it? Okay, I'm in trouble with your producers. But I came bearing gifts. Did you like my Santa outfit, the red jacket? I figured I should come bearing gifts. Thanks. Yes, so, we'll talk about it down the road. The gift back. of knowing. How'd, how'd they get back to you? Um, I, we reached out to them. I reached out to Chrissy. It was, it's been so long, you know, and people go through ups and downs. This show is very hard because they're giving so much of their real lives. It's an emotional roller coaster, right? So. We had our ups, we had our downs. I was like, so much time has gone by. It's the 10th season. How many people can say that? 10 seasons of Love and Hip Hop. So New they're York. both participating. They both are participating. I figured this is, you know, this is the year of return for black people, right? It's 400 years. Jim. Years marks 400 years of slavery, and we're all that's why we're all flocking back to Africa in December. And I felt that is I that where we're going in December? We are, we are. It's gonna be fabulous. You should be on that plane. What's wrong with you? I work every day, it's gonna be amazing. It's between the Christmas holiday, but anyway, we tied that theme. I've got in. plans. You, you gonna want to be on this plane when you see the shenanigans. We're gonna be having a ball. Everyone's going. It's not the destination. Okay, it's mingling tune, with too close in to the light. No. To Wendy in Africa between December 26th and January 3rd. Mm -hmm. You know. <laughs> All right. Now look. Okay. Wait. Wait. But we brought everyone back. Okay. Let me ask you. Remy yes. versus the girl Brittany Taylor. Now. Oh yeah. Brittany is the one. Remy just got off scot free. Thank God. Thank Brittany God. Brittany is the one that accused yeah. Remy of punching her in the face. Now, how are you dealing with that on uh, on the show? Um, well, first of all, it it's happened, already taped. It happened off the show. Brittany was, you know, it didn't happen during the years, marks 400 years of slavery. And we're all, that's taping. Then she wasn't even a cast member at the time. I mean, you know, I just want to say that. But you that. brought her on the cast to stir the pot. She was on the cast prior to. Mm -hmm. They didn't even know each other when we first started shooting. They met on the show. And listen, I'm just glad this whole ordeal is over. Remy had just celebrated being off parole, getting but, her breast off. Here's the thing. And then do you make it. phone calls in between to try to get in between the people? Or do you um, go home and put your phone no, on no, no. and throw uh, it under please, the bed? Please, I wish I could. This is 24-7. No, sometimes it's like, come on, guys, what are we doing? You guys are friends. You need to talk, that kind of thing. But in this instance, that wasn't the case because this all happened kind of off season. It was one of those things I saw in the blogs. I, you know, spoke to Remy, of course, what's going on, you know. And you entertain these people at your actual house. I mean, now they know where you live. Uh, I mean, are you always moving? No. <laughs> I've been in the same house for 17 years. Do you ever get a knock knock at three o'clock in the morning? No. No. I get phone calls 24 7, but not a knock knock. And listen, the reality of it is, I taping that she wasn't even a cast member at the. I love these guys. I spend time with them. I care about them. Make money off of them. They they're welcome into my home because I actually see them as good humans. Mm -hmm. Good for business. Good humans. Good for business. <laughs> I love these guys. I spend time with them. Hey! I about them. Money off of them. They, what do y'all think about this? I always want to know. You know. So 
So do you guys think that reality show, it does shows black excellence? Does it show African-American people in a good light? Do you think it's good um, as a whole? Because like Romeo, they're going to spin it like the reason why they're carrying so much drama because they're showing you guys not what not to do and to give them bad examples. That's how they claim. But um, since they've been on, do you think it has helped people? You know, or do you think it's just entertainment? Or do you think it's black excellence? I would love to know what you guys think about this. Do you think that Mona um, Scott really care about, you know, the community? Or do you think she's all about self and it's all about money grab for her? Let us know what you guys think about that. And another thing, now she said we're going back to Africa. I want to know, how, do they going to tell the story and should I still want to know myself? You know, because, um, you know, before we came over here, the black people sold the black people out. You know what I mean? Yeah, I heard the black people was going to war with the black people about putting, the, you know, people on slaves. Not everybody got their stories and twists, but I did hear the... Um, the people that, um, you know, that was taken over, they did go to Egypt door and they wanted to make some of their people slaves too, because I guess they offer certain groups money to enslave their own kind or whatever. Um, but Egyptians, they said they would not even allow them to step foot on their land. So they was not having it. They was going around to different you know, races, different ethnicity, trying to get, you know, slaves or whatever. But they say, you know, they, they were most successful with the African Americans from Africa. You know, so, but you know, we never hear that part, you know. We don't, we, we never hear this, the whole story. It's only half little bits of truth, okay? But comment, let us know what y'all think about this. And um, I'm going to do this so you guys can see a little bit what the people have been saying.